uh, junior achievement company program especially will have a different attitude a different mindset their attitude to work is different if they are employees and their attitude to economic challenge is different they are quick to form businesses the grant will enable junior achievement africa to launch operations in new markets there have never been before like burkina faso the drc togo syria leone and liberia this evolves creation of entrepreneurship ecosystems that work together to build young Africans to be change makers to solve African problems. We are using this uh, junior achievement model, uh, personal uh, that I have supported. First of all, it has three programs. The first one is a company model, where each child, where each school has a club of junior achievement club. And in this club, you find a child having a, they have, they have a company, a business company, doing some sort of business. So in so doing, they are learning how to make business. And so the issue is the business concept being accepted and listened to and uh, obt uh, obtained by the child at that young age. Now, the moment a child gets that skill, to me, that's the way to go. This partnership between Z, the Reach Foundation, and Junior Achievement Africa is believed to be a game changer since it will create a movement to empower young people make the choices that could transform their future for the better. Like you've seen our alumni today, many of them, just that little mentorship creates, catapults them into something greater than they can even ever imagine, and they do better in life. So we are hoping to go scale up and go not just in Kampala, but go to the underserved across the country. There is a lot of support required around being able to translate local challenges into global business opportunities. I had to look at uh, education. How can education be turned into a great treasure that every young person can embrace? I'm going to school, I'm doing IT, but how can I use my IT skills then I start up a job? I personally participated in 2008, but from 2008, the Junior Achievement Company program has been moving annually, meaning that we have thousands of young people who have gone through Junior Achievement, as you have seen our colleagues, some are into IT, others are into design and fashion, others are into media, others are into education and training like I myself. Many young Africans are entrepreneurial by nature but are limited in their ability to realistically and ambitiously conceptualize what their solution and business model could become at global scale. Sandra Kahonde, Vincent Pomondo, UBC News.